usually when a psychiatrist is talking about psychosis, they're talking about a break from reality where an example, a classic example of a psychotic illness is schizophrenia. So these are people who are in you should think of schizophrenia as a kind of a, a weird dementia that kicks in in early life rather than at the end of your life. In schizophrenia, you actually when you do MRIs and that was the brain kind of struggling away. It's not because they had a bad mom or a bad childhood or trauma or whatever. It's 1% of the population for multifactorial combinations of genetic and environmental reasons. Their brain just gets caught in this abnormal growth pattern where big sections of the brain start shrinking away. And the, the nature of the areas that start shrinking away happen to produce all these funny symptoms. Um, and those funny symptoms include a loss of reality testing. So there's an area in the frontal lobes that allows you to throw away bad ideas. So it, let's say you have the idea that you're allergic to french fries, and then one day you, you eat some french fries by accident, and you're not allergic to them. You're like, oh, because I'm not allergic to french fries. Right? We can throw away our bad ideas, and that's the only way we learn. Um, in schizophrenia, that ability kind of goes away. So even when we have evidence that proves us wrong about stuff, we persist. Now, you don't have to have schizophrenia. We're all kind of like this. <laughs> but, you know, in schizophrenia, even when it's like, you know, you notice the police car around the corner, and you're like, hmm, what's that doing there? And then, oh, there's another police car. And, you know, today there's another police car outside my house. What's going on? Something's not right. But you don't notice all the days when there is no police car.